began surveying Loch in 2011 uh, for depth and position uh, bathymetric surveying. Uh, one of the most interesting areas I found was an area inside the wood shoal and between the wood shoal and St. John's Wood. Although this passage had been used over a number of years by, by various people, um, it was never actually surveyed or never proven that it was safe uh, to use by vessels. So in 2013, I requested the HBA, the Heritage Boat Association, who were visiting at loan at the time, to accompany me on a trip through the wood passage, as we call it. Um, it was used back in the days of the, the sailing barges, and there was in fact a chart there um, on an old CIE chart um, when the passage was being used for some reason. And then the navigation was moved out from uh, inside the wood shoal to outside the wood shoal between the wood shoal and each corolla. Um, but we felt that this, this uh, passage here would be a nice one to explore and see was it safe to use. I had spent a couple of years surveying it, so I was quite happy to bring the barges through it. So we left Hudson Bay in 2013. Um, we were led by the Viking ship, who then broke off, and we continued on north, up past U Point, up to marker number five, and we entered the, the Wood Passage. And the Wood Passage is a, a navigation that's uh, well sheltered from the west. If there's westerly winds, you get plenty of shelter in here. And um, we travelled through it without incident whatsoever. Everybody seemed to enjoy the day. Um, we travelled into uh, Blackbring Bay, then up the canal into Lake Harrow. In Lake Harrow, we were met by um, a deputation of um, uh, councillors from uh, Roscommon uh, County Council who were delighted to meet us and happy to see that we had uh, worked on this, this navigation and that we had proven that it was safe uh, to use. 